Hey everyone, what's up? Mariah here. And um, got a little quality of life improvement video for everyone. <clears throat> nothing too, uh, nothing too groundbreaking or anything about, uh, like that, but it's a, uh, it's a cursor based video effects feed and uh, some people will be familiar with this already. Is that it? Is that all you got for me, cursed chest? Look how easy that was. And here's a legendary. Now, um, before moving forward, before talking about the cursor-based video effects, I have to say that you will need a video effects layout, a VFX layout in order for this to work. If you're not familiar with this, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, there will be a link in the description to the VFX layouts video that is on my channel. So uh, with that said, um, this is not Diablo 3 specific. However, this is very easy to just enable in Diablo 3 and it's kind of useful for Diablo 3 players. Now, what I'm talking about is the fact that when you're looting, you can't always see what's going on. So you're generally like switching windows to see who's got what, right? And in addition to that, you can also, we're combining two systems here. So there's the tediousness of having to switch windows and then there's the hold to control keys that come standard through the quick setup wizard if you've chosen an action RPG uh, template, which obviously you will have if you're playing Diablo 3. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, you should be if you're playing Diablo 3. So what that is, is you can see that I move as a unit, right? All my characters are stacked, they move as a unit in action RPGs like Diablo 3. Now I hold a key and now all of a sudden I can control just one character. And you can see, you can watch the mouse in the bottom, the bottom middle screen there, and that's how I'm, that's the window I would watch to move this character around, right? However, you can slap a video effects feed on to one of your characters, and then you can control them this way so you can better see what they're doing, right? You can really get a better look at what the hell's happening here, and you can just kind of see if you want to pick this up or not. So some chest armor, sure, I'll take it. Now, two things I'm sure you initially notice about this. First, it's a little jumpy. I'm not gonna deny that. Second, there's this green border around my particular VFX window. I'm not gonna deny that one either. However, let's talk about these. Uh, first of all, the jumpiness is, um, I'm going to say it's close to impossible to eliminate this. It's based off of, from what I'm told, it's based off of your frame rate. So I'm currently running 60, frame, uh, 60 frames per second, foreground and background for these four characters uh, in Diablo 3 here. And this is the smoothness that I get if you want to consider this smooth or not. I know that some people are running 30-30 or even 60-30, so you may see some more choppiness than what you're seeing here. Um, I've tested up to 200, 200, and even that wasn't all that smooth. So if you're trying to reach, the, you know, I, I don't know what, I don't know what the magic number is in order to get the smoothness that you're going to want uh, with this feed. Probably something ridiculous like 500 frames per second, something that people would not normally play Diablo 3 at, right? So there's that first. The jumpiness is just kind of inherent to the cursor based video effects feed. It's just the way it is right now. If there are improvements in the future, then you'll likely see them. <clears throat> Second is that green border. And I'll talk about this a little bit more in a moment when we get to configuring this. It's kind of just, um, well, it's not kind of, it is a bug with games that run DirectX 9. Diablo 3, unfortunately, only runs DirectX 9. A game like World of Warcraft um, runs both DirectX 9 or DirectX 11. So if you have a DirectX 11 game that you're playing, or even in the future, perhaps a DirectX 12 game, um, you are not going to see this green border. It's, it's just a bug with the DirectX 9 um, games. However, you may not actually see this border at all. It may not even affect you because um, it doesn't always affect me. The majority of the time it does affect me. Sometimes just miraculously, the border disappears and it's like, and it goes back to normal. So you may or may not see this. I'm going to, I'll, I'll bet money that you're probably going to see the green border though. And it is a little annoying, uh, but it is, it's, you get over it. If you want to use this, you just kind of got to get over it. So how do we do this, right? So first, again, I need to reiterate that a VFX layout is necessary in order for this to work. So with that said, again, check the description if you don't know what that is. So 
the standard wizard setup gives you these hold to control keys, right? So this is what it normally looks like. And I've touched nothing in this particular hold to control mapped key. I've touched nothing. What I have touched is I've changed some things in my second character. What you need to do is you need to come into this repeater state action. You need to enable video effects. You need to give it a source, uh, source size and output size. And then of course you can adjust the opacity and add a border to it. And then in the second step, you need to add a repeater state action, which turns off the video effects. So rather than just talk about it, let's quickly configure this for my, my third slot. So I'll come into, come into my hold to control three. That's hold to control slot three, mapped key. Step one, repeater state action. We come over here, we, we check this, video effects on, check the source size, check the output size. We need to put a number in here. Now for me, that's not the right number, but for me, this is the number that I like. This is the, the, it's the size, it's the dimensions of the video effects window that you're going to be looking at. You're gonna have to just, you know, I'm running 2560 by 1440 in this particular video. So this is um, a size, the size of a window that I'm comfortable with viewing. It, it gives me a good enough uh, viewing area around my character to see what's going on. So you'll have to play with these numbers, just punch in different numbers and see what they look like. I mean, it, it's just, it's just that easy. So opacity, I'm not gonna to touch the opacity. I want this uh, fully opaque. Uh, border, we'll touch on border in a minute. So in step two, there's one addition that you need to make in order to make this work correctly. Uh, right click on actions, we're gonna add another repeater state action. Repeater state action. We're gonna add that. We're gonna set the target to window current and we're gonna turn the video effects off. So you have to check that little box and then you set this to off. That's all that you're doing. This is exactly what this should look like. Nothing else has changed, nothing else is set. You're touching nothing else. And that's it. Then we can export, minimize this. Let me get everybody into the corner again so we can uh, see what's going on. So here's my second character, right? Here's my third character. So this is what we just did. We just enabled this. And that's it. And that's it. There, that's all there is to that. You just enable a few options. You set some sizes. You go into step two, and you uh, you set a new repeater state action to turn that video effects off. Because the way that this operates, it, it operates off of press to release. So you press, you hold it. Let me get back in game here. You press, you hold it, and now you can move around like this, right? So I'm still holding my hold the control key when I release it all goes away and I come back to how I should be normally playing with all my characters moving together as we try to regroup into the corner here. Now, the deal with the border, right? So let me, let me just touch on the border real fast. You saw that we had a border option. What you can do is if you really hate that green border, if you just can't stand it, if it's keeping you up at night, you can set, you can enable the border and give it a new color. So we'll set this to red. It's a hex code. Um, if you're not familiar with hex codes, if you really want that specific fuchsia or teal that you're looking for, look up the hex code online and then punch it into that six digit hex code there. So we'll export this with a border now. And uh, which one did I change? Okay, so this one, you can see we've got a red border now. The other one, oh, they're both red. How about that? I don't know why that is. So anyway, we did just change the border for one of them. It seems to be another bug that kind of inherits the color, I guess. Lax will watch this and he will see this and, and, and maybe this will be fixed. Maybe this will be fixed by the time you guys get this. Maybe it'll be fixed in another month. Who knows? I'm just letting you know now that it's there. So um, the border color has changed from green to red. So pick something you like and um, that's pretty much it. Now you might be saying, dude, I kind of like this, but I don't want, I still want my original hold the control set up but I do like the cursor based video effects, right? I do like that from time to time. Fantastic. Here's what we can do. So I've already changed this. I've already made changes for my slot two and slot three characters. So right now we'll make copies of these. We'll make copies of these. And in the originals, we'll revert the changes. So I'll just uncheck these boxes. I don't need to do anything else. Uncheck those boxes, delete the additional action I've done. Again, come into this and check the boxes and delete the additional action in step two. Remember, I didn't do anything to slot one or slot four, just for demo purposes, we're only working with slot two and slot three. So because I made changes, uh, because, uh, because I made copies of what I had already set up, everything is still already set up in these copies. So what I'll do is I'll just rename these real fast, hold the control, 
with VFX and with VFX. Now, don't forget to change the hotkey, otherwise you're still gonna just be double bound. You'll, I've got S key bound to this, I've got S key bound to this, that's no good. What we'll do here, what I'll do, is I'll just set the shift modifier to be the modifier for my hold the control keys so that, I'll demonstrate it, so that, so that if, I, if I hold S now for my slot two, I can just move my character around as if I've got the normal hold the control setup. But if I hold down shift and press S, then I get the cursor based video effects hold the control setup, which is very fancy. And of course, moving over to three, um, holding down D just automatically makes it, it, holding down D is just the normal hold the control. Shift D is of course, then the video effects cursor based feed. And I think that's it. I think that's all I have to show you. So. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You don't have to use it. You can separate them like I just did. Sometimes you want to use just hold the control. Sometimes you want cursor-based video effects. Your choice. Do what you want. Um, if for some reason, uh, the profile will be in the description if you want to check it out and just copy the stuff and see what I've done in there. Uh, if for some reason you can't figure it out, uh, of course, just come to the site, come to the forum, and uh, come to the chat, and we'll... Uh, We'll get, you, we'll get you situated. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'm a little parched. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, look at that. I shut the video down and there's another legendary. How about them apples? How about them apples? Too bad I'm not really anywhere in this game to where legendaries mean all that much. But anyway, I got another legendary. That's all I wanted to show you guys. That's it.